For more on this current effort and the role of former American presidents in international crisis situations, we're joined by Thomas Whalen, an associate professor of social science at Boston University and author of A Higher Purpose, Profiles in Presidential Courage. He joins us from Boston. The North Koreans seem to like uh, star power when it comes to those who, who come to pay a visit. So I presume that's what Bill Clinton brings as opposed to either you know, former vice presidents or other former members of administrations. Right. I mean, it's always good that if you have that star power, you know, if you have a George Clooney, why send a, a Ted Danson um, to, uh, to fix things? That Bill Clinton is probably the most popular figure on this planet at this particular moment. And tell us about some of the other ex-presidents who have been sent on diplomatic missions. We mentioned, of course, Jimmy Carter. What about him? Well, Jimmy Carter played an, a really important role in bringing about a democratic free election in Nicaragua following the, um, the, the Sandinista regime's uh, fall you know, several years ago. At the same time, Richard Nixon played a key role in help lessening tensions between the United States and China following Tiananmen Square. The Bush administration had sent him on that uh, mission. So, so I think presidents can play a very important diplomatic role here in terms of easing tensions and getting uh, certain American foreign policy interests on the ground. Has it always worked out or have there been gaffes? Well, I think President Carter uh, made a major faux pas uh, recently when he tried to interject himself um, in the Israeli-Palestinian dialogue. And he ended up alienating Israel and really making the situation far worse uh, than it was when, it, when he first um, began. We've only got about 30 seconds left, but I was surprised to find out that this is actually a policy that goes back uh, some time. I mean, all the way to Theodore Roosevelt? Well, Theodore Roosevelt represented the United States um, at the state funeral for the King of England at the beginning of the 20th century. And during this funeral, you had all the crowned heads of Europe just before the outbreak of World War I. And it was there that Theodore Roosevelt privately came to the conclusion that war was coming. And, of course, he was right. He was. Thomas Whalen, thank you very much for joining us tonight. You're welcome.